Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at some entitled influencers who should be left in 2022. Hi Han. Okay, so I think this girl might be British because that's a pretty British thing to say. My name is Blank and I am a health and lifestyle blogger from Blank, but currently residing in for my residency. Now that there's some loosening of COVID restrictions and lots of people in my community are vaccinated, my family planned a bridal shower for me in Blank. On Sunday, May 30th at 3pm, this is totally last minute, but I was hoping to collaborate with a photographer who'd be willing to come for just a few hours. 2 to 5 p.m. to photograph the decor, food, bridal party, and some of the guests as they arrive. I've got a feeling this influencer is going to turn around and say, Look, I want you to be here, but I'm not going to pay you. I mean, yet again, if someone's going to come their way to do stuff for you, you got to pay them. I have the perfect target audience for your business. Lots of local women follow me. 76% of my followers are female, between 18 to 34 years old. Of course, you'd be tagged in all of the photos and you would have access to use all of my photos. I additionally would do a dedicated story post reviewing your amazing service after the party. Well, I mean, obviously that's brilliant, but why can't you pay them as well? I mean, think of it, this person has to drive to this wedding, they have to take the photos, probably edit them, send them back to them. They should be getting paid for that, you know, people don't work for free. And yes, if this person has millions and millions and millions of followers, I can understand why the photographer might do it for free, you know, lots of publicity. But I do have a feeling this influencer probably doesn't have that amount of followers. Usually these types of genuine collabs between me and local businesses do very well. Let me know ASAP. How about you let that person know what collab collaborations have went well. Imagine they like message another for business and they're like, yeah, the promotion was crap. Okay, so now the business person responded. Unfortunately, I do not do free shoots. Likes and tags are great, but they do not pay my bills. Exactly, they got bills to pay. And also whenever that influencer gives you a shout out, that isn't gonna guarantee you actually get sales from it. Lots of people could view your work, but nobody might book you. My hourly rate is 525 pounds an hour and I'd be doing myself a huge disservice with this kind of collab as it would benefit you significantly more than it would myself. This isn't a hobby for me, it's my job and helps me support my family. If you're interested in hiring me for services, I'd be more than happy to send over my package prices. Do you want to know something? I'm with this person or stand on their ground. Okay, so now that influencer's got another out of touch thing to say. It's standard practice for businesses and bloggers to collaborate. I've worked with many photographers. Well then, if you've worked with many photographers, work with them. You know, collab with them again. For your information, I charge companies $1,200 to post one story reviewing their product, sometimes more. $3,000 for an Instagram feed post. If I am advertising your business on my local media page, which is also a small business, I am valuing your work at $4,200. Creating good content for brands takes time and effort. It might take time and effort, but it ain't gonna take money because you're asking for it for free. I mean, yet again, if she had millions of followers, could understand why the photographer might do it for free. But you know, at the end of the day, if you want someone to take photos for you, especially at like a wedding, like they're like big things, you gotta pay off. Social media advertisement is the single most important means of ads and increasing the exposure of the businesses, both large large and small in today's world, which does pay the bills. It brings new customers. That's not true because the person might have loads of followers and might get the photographer loads of views, but none of them people might book her. You know, a million people could look at her work, but nobody would book her. You know, that's the way it is, it's hit or miss. Saying it's a lot more beneficial to me than you undermines the work I do. It's not meant to be offensive if someone reaches out for a collab. I simply liked your work and DM'd you. Well, if you liked her work, you would also want to pay her if you really liked and supported her work. I can understand where the influencer's coming from. You know, she wants a person to do it for free. That's not how it works. If you don't accept, that's totally fine and I respect it. I'm disappointed you felt the need to decline and also add passive aggressive undertones. Best of luck. Nothing about what that woman said was passive aggressive. She literally said, unfortunately, I do not do free shoots. My hourly rate is 525. And then she was talking about this isn't a hobby for me. It's my job and helps me support my family. So she was basically telling you, yeah, I can't do it for free. You know, I've got people to support. And of course the influencer accuses her of being aggressive. This influencer really thought they fled. Next. Make me a sick logo. If you pay, then sure. Lol, gotcha. I see where we stand. You do understand that by giving you credits on my Twitch page would probably net you more business since I am a rapidly growing Twitch page. Do you know how many people I've given free edits to? Because it'll help me grow in the long and put my name next in that edit. It's cool though. I won't expose your artwork to a few hundred more people. Well, I mean, if you're only getting a few hundred people looking at your stuff, you're obviously not going to get that person loads of like exposure, are you? A couple hundred people? That's worse than the last influence. Influencer. Oh damn, that sucks. Guess I'll have to post some of my 5,000 plus followers on TikTok and get paid another $400 within a week. Oh man, this totally sucks. I should have totally drew you something for free, even though I can spend my time and make money somewhere else. Darn it, silly me. I mean, exactly. If someone's not going to pay, don't do it. Why are you doing stuff for free? You know, you got to make money somehow. Okay, so this next one looks like an email. Hi all. Myself and my husband have recently moved and found ourselves being hit with a house that needs more TLC than we originally thought. We were just wondering if any handyman, plumber, or 
electricians would be able to offer their services for free of charge in exchange for some good publicity. I have over 2,000 Instagram followers and my husband has 178k on TikTok. Please get in touch, thanks. So you're telling me this woman has 2,000 followers on Instagram and her husband's got 178,000 followers on TikTok and they're gonna get people some good publicity. I mean, I've got over 10 times that amount of Instagram followers and like three or four times that amount of TikTok followers. And you know, I wouldn't even speak to someone like that. I mean, I can understand, you know, moving into a house is expensive to fix everything up, but don't offer to give people publicity in exchange for free work. This influencer is totally selective and not at all scamming people. Hello there, yes, I'm available for commissions, but I don't accept exposure or shout outs of it because I need the funds. I'll have to decline your offer. No, you don't understand. I'm selective with the people I offer this opportunity to. Think about the exposure you'll get. Take the time to think. I mean, if you're saying that you're selective, that basically is a lie because most people who say they're selective are not selective. This influencer probably will take free work from anyone. No thanks, I'm really not interested in working for free. Do you want me to expose you to my hundreds of followers? How stingy you are. I'll expose you in Twitch so people won't commission your stingy ass goodbye. I mean, you only have a couple hundred followers, so you're not really gonna get that much publicity, are you? Yeah, again, it's so weird. It's like they're so demanding. They demand everything. I couldn't deal with that. Like, I'm telling you right now, if I worked a job like that person and someone begged me for free stuff, I'd just block them. Or I'd use an Uno reverse card and expose them. Hello there. I seem to be interested in your commissions. Do you accept VTubers? If so, we can communicate in a payment plan. I don't have any money with me right now, but I can shut you out my Twitch account that has 50,000 followers. Why have all these people got Twitch accounts? Is this the same person? I swear so far free of these like influencers have been from Twitch. I'm sure you will get a lot of exposure and people will commission you. Thanks in advance. Let me know if you're available. Okay, so this person accepted the request. Hello there. Yes, I'm available for commissions, but I don't accept exposure or shout outs for it because I need the funds. I'll have to decline your offer. No, you don't understand. I mean, I think the person does understand. They literally can't afford it. You know, they have to make money somehow. And yet again, you guys, the Twitch people, like what is up with Twitch people? If it was like Ronaldo or Messi, I could understand, you know, why this person might do it for free, you know, to get shown to millions, if not billions of people. However, this person has 50,000 followers on Twitch. This influencer acted like they were cutting a good deal. Hello, I'm a big fan of your work. I own a fairly big anime page and have a great community. I think I can help promote whatever you want. Products, artwork, your page, and much more to a wider audience so that people can see your work. Don't worry about the price since I'm a big fan and I like your work very much. I won't ask for much money. Just a couple hundred dollars will do. For formality's sake, let me know if you're interested and we can work out a deal within your budget. Looking forward to working together. Oh wait, I just realized what that meant. They were literally contacting that person saying, oh yeah, pay me and I'll promote your stuff. So yeah, the influencer literally just seen their work and is asking them for money basically. Hi, thanks for reaching out. Normally people pay artists for their work. Because I do this as a hobby and I'm not professional by any means, I'd be happy to accept free requests and allow people to use my publicly posted art for free. However, me paying you to use my art is not something I'm interested in doing. So basically the influencer wanted the artist to give them like a couple hundred pounds. It means that the influencer could use their work. I swear it's like usually the other way around. If you want to use someone's work, you pay for it. But apparently this influencer thought that they were cutting the person a really good deal. This influencer straight up said that they're a nightmare to work for. Okay, so if they're literally admitting they're a nightmare, there must be one. But before I tell you how to apply, there's no pay and no leaves for three months. You last by the end of it and I'll give you a full-time job. I'm going to be incredibly hard on you. So only apply if you're passionate about growing and want to do something great with your life. Don't apply if you're looking for quick gain or quick money. This position isn't for you. This is not a remote position. You'll have to come to my office every day. Please only apply if you can manage your transport daily and be as in blank. So you're telling me this influencer said there's no pay and no leave for three months. So you're going to be working a full-time job for three months and you're not going to get paid a single dime. Isn't that illegal for someone to work for you and you not to pay them? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if this influencer ends up in jail one day. This next influencer gave this pizza shop a one-star review online. I was really excited to pick up a slice for National Cheese Pizza Day today and unfortunately experienced an awful customer experience. I was turned away for being short 30 cent on one cheese slice of pizza. 30 cents. This isn't 7% of the total cost. As an alternative, I told them I was a food blogger on Instagram. Of course she is and I bet you she's going to ask for a free pizza and would post the slice of pizza on my page. So you're telling me you're going to post a photo of one piece of pizza, like a slice of pizza. Mind you, I have over 10,000 followers and restaurants frequently ask me to come in and try their pizza for free in exchange for a post. Is this like a pizza eater? Is this like a pizza Instagram account? This woman literally said restaurants frequently ask me to come in and try their pizza. Is her whole career about pizza? When the cashier returned from speaking with her manager, she said no discount. It's a shame they could not see the value in what I had to offer and disappointing because now they have forever lost a potential customer. Never going back 
to try their pizza not work for it. So yeah, basically this influencer had a bit of a tantrum because they were told, yeah, you don't have enough money so you're not gonna be able to get the pizza. I mean, 30 cent, how much is that in British pounds? Like 27p. 27p, it's not that much, you know, they probably could have let her off or like taken a slice away. But is it really worth going out of your way, typing a big paragraph and just giving them like a bad review over a slice of pizza? I mean, next time maybe make sure you got enough money before you buy stuff. Hello, I wanted to record the food being made and post at my page. In exchange for $100 off the food, I can come in today. Wait, so you're telling me this person was gonna walk into this store, record the food being made, post in their store and get $100 off? That ain't how restaurants work. But you know we are in STL. I'm in STL also. I can come today around 4.30. I'm from STL, I have family here. I live in LA and here. I don't think the restaurant responded for a while because they did send two question marks and then they said, thank you for your offer, but I don't think this collaboration will work for us though. And of course, influencers being good old influencers, they decided to give a fake negative review. This person then said this, worst dumplings ever, such a floral taste to these. And then they also said dumplings that taste like ass. So you're telling me because this influencer didn't get money off their food, they decided to give a fake review. Yeah, again, that's like illegal, isn't it? That could be, what is it? Like assassination of the business character? I don't know, I'm not a politician or like political or like a lawyer. But basically this influencer wasn't happy that they didn't get money off, so they decided to give a fake review. Anyways, guys, that's where I leave that video there. That's some entitled influencers who we should probably leave in 2022, but knowing the way this world is, they're gonna continue on to the end of time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're from Spigard, subscribe, and just I'll see you all in my next video.